I'm going to be showing you guys how to level your scope to the Earth's poles. So the reason you want your scope crosshairs leveled is gravity only pulls in one direction. So when your projectile comes out of the end of the barrel, it's constantly dropping. And if you've got your scope or your, well, if you've got your scope crosshairs, what they call canted, so tilted left or right, it's going to affect how you uh, dial in for your shots and it's going to throw it off to the left or the right. So this method is what I've come to know as the flashlight method. So you take a uh, mag light style flashlight with an adjustable beam and you put it into the end of the scope. And then it shines through the backside of the crosshairs onto a piece of paper and you have a string hanging down through the piece of paper with some weight on the end, which I've just got a couple of 5 16ths uh, nuts on it. So you're going to need it on a tripod, or excuse me, a bipod or a gun vise. And if you've got the adjustable cant on your bipod, then you can adjust your rifle first to your shoulder where it feels good and fits and lock it down and then set this up and set your crosshairs but either way the rifle the rifle itself doesn't have to be straight as long as your crosshairs uh, your vertical crosshair is going with the earth's pole then you're fine so we're going to turn the flashlight on and hopefully the camera will pick this up. Okay. So you can see there at the, at the bottom, the crosshair is nearly touching the line. And it's way off at the top. So I've got all of these, all of these already loosened on one side. And that's what you're going to want. You're going to want it loosened on one side. And then you're going to want your bubble level. If you have a spirit level, have it loosened. And then we're going to tilt the scope until the crosshairs are lining up better. Let me get this where it shows better. Now I've got it too far at the top. So right there is about where I want it probably. Let me move this over. So I want it to where it's touching the shadow of the line, the outside, the outside of these marks here, the very outside. I want it touching the shadow of that line. Let me move it over just a little more. Okay, now we'll go down to the bottom and check. And it's real close. I might have to tilt it. I might have to tilt it away just a hair more this way. Okay, so I'm barely touching the shadow of the line there and there. And I can go all the way down and check. It's going to matter if you're going to have to keep your piece of paper flat. This one wants to bow out, so it's going to throw it off. But That's pretty darn close. But anyways, you guys get the idea. So once you've got that... Once you've got that leveled, you're going to lock down your scope. And 
and then just for time's sake I'm not going to completely tighten this just get it snug check so still touching at the top and still touching at the bottom so we're still in good shape all right now that I've got now that I've got the scope leveled now I'm going to want to get my spirit level centered that way I know that when I have this centered that the scope is centered and if you have an electronic level it, it's going to help out a lot but I always have a uh, spirit level as a standby there I can see better on this side okay so about right there and then don't block that back down so once you have everything locked down you should be good so whenever you sight in at 50 yards or wherever and you dial up um, if you're if you're barrel shooting true and everything you should be you know and there's hardly any wind or whatever you should be right on target so if you're using a um, Shrelock app or something equivalent to that then your uh, your vertical dope and uh, everything should be right on target but anyways didn't make didn't mean to make this a 10 minute video but you get the you get the idea of how everything works now so if you got any, uh, got any questions just comment on it